Welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever. So, first off, let me go through the changes that I've made since last episode. First off, as you may already be able to tell, I've changed this station a little bit. So before um, the food line came into one of these two, and I've actually moved it over to there, just because I've got some plans for this side, um, which I will explain a little bit later. And the only other real change I've made since the last episode, um, I don't think anything's really changed over here. Uh, I've added a couple of more buses over here, um, just because they didn't seem to be going out there very much, but there's loads on this side. Um, so there's, I think, five more buses there. Uh, I have actually got the next bus um, that holds more people and is a bit quicker, so we'll upgrade to that at some point. Other change um so down here um the train that i had on this track has gone end of life so i've replaced it with a new one it's actually the 62 mile an hour one so it's actually doing pretty well the only slight problem is not picking enough people up obviously no one wants to go between chickarel and Bordwich. If we look at the finances, it is still making money, but not very much at all. We'll hopefully be able to fix that uh, once we get this expanded um, and this expanded as well. Uh, hopefully people will want to go a bit more between the two. Right, so what we're going to build today. So like I said on this, uh, this station here. What I've noticed um, is that that town over there needs bricks. Obviously, we're already bringing bricks in here by truck. So what I thought is, well, instead of having it by truck, we'll do it by train. And what actually, if you look at these stats here, we're only bringing in around 50%. It's not quite 50%. So if we bring it in by train, hopefully we should move a lot more. And there's quite a few other towns around here that need brick. So that one up there, a couple over here, there's one over there, and that one there. Yeah, and that one there as well, I didn't notice that one. And up there, so okay, so there's quite a few places that need brick. So I thought if I brought them in, where is it? It's there. Uh, so if I brought them in here as kind of the hub, and then I can distribute them everywhere. But what that's going to mean is we're going to have to build a track that goes from there to there. Now what I don't want to do is build just straight across. I could do that, but it means you have to mess about with signals and things like that. So. What I think I'm going to do instead is do a tunnel. It'll go down and around and over that sort of shape. Which is probably going to cost us a lot of money. We've got 7.2 million. Um, I'm hoping that's going to be enough. We'll find out. But let's first... a hell there. Yes it is. So that might cause a bit of an issue as well because the tunnel might be quite long. Right, so let's build the station first. So there's 52 bricks. Okay. Now, do we put the station in here or do we put it over there? Probably doesn't really matter. Um, I think we'll go for the longest one. At the minute, we probably won't get the biggest train, but eventually we will. So that is linking up there. There we go, we'll put that there. So I'm not actually sure how long this station was. The only other thing we could do is maybe put a track on the outside.
um, extend this. Let's have a look at what that looks like. No platforms, want some more cargo. So that's as long as it'll go. That's going to work. I think. Because we've got this building here. That might be okay, actually. It's quite a long, quite a long station. It is going to have to come kind of ha out and round. Okay, let's try that. This is the bit that's going to cost us a load of money. So let's have a look. So we're gonna. Let's, we want to go down. And it is going to be slow coming off here. Probably going to be a quite a sharp curve. See if it'll do that. There we are, so now we're underground. Don't need to go too deep underground. Make it go flat. Or we'll round that off a bit so we can go a bit faster, hopefully. Okay, so let's go to there. Then go. So now we're under that, we can actually level it up a bit. Hopefully, come out the other end. It's not actually costing as much as I expected at the minute. I was actually expecting it to cost in the millions. Now we're out. Should it go down in price. And we've managed to kind of avoid this hill so the the uh the tunnel is not going to be as long as we need it there we go so we probably can straighten out a bit now yeah i've just noticed it has got electric uh has got electric on it. Interesting, okay. Don't know if we've actually got an electric train yet. I'm going in completely the wrong direction here. Let's just back that up a bit. I don't remember it always giving you a refund on this game. When you delete stuff now, you do get a refund. Might be wrong there. Just connect that straight up. There we go, so it's not that far, but I'm hoping it's going to make a big difference to the amount of brick we can move. That is quite a long section, so hopefully it is the same. Right, let's okay that. We're not going to be able to connect that up, so we might need another, um, what called, one of these, depot. Just put that there. Right, so that's looking pretty good. And uh, let's pause. So we have actually got quite a lot of money. That didn't actually cost as, as much money as I was expecting. I was expecting it to cost like few million, but I know it's not far. 
Right, so that's we're going to change this uh, line manager. So we no longer want it to go to there. We do want it to go to there. That's going to have to be expanded when we the brick gets dropped off. We want don't want to lose any. And we may need to just rearrange this road a little bit. So let's expand that quite a bit. Yes, yeah, so that road's in the way now. So let's change the road off. There we go, that should give us plenty of room now. Maybe I just make it as big as it'll go. Maybe not quite that, but that'll be okay, I think. Uh, so, brick to Pershaw. Right, so now we need a new line. So, we'll call this, we'll just call it the brick, uh, brick line or brick. And we want to go from there to there. Hopefully that's added it into the right one. Yes, it has. So we may need to speed this bit up as well, just so we are bringing in enough um, raw material so it's stone i think so at the minute we've got quite a bit of stone waiting 127 and there's a exclamation mark so it means we're not picking it up quick enough right so there's new train and there's probably not much point me going for the uh 62 mile now one not going to reach 62 mile now i don't think But that is much more powerful. That's 1,360 brake horsepower. 600. Okay. Huge difference in price. So yearly cost, it's like over twice as much. Okay, maybe we do just go for that one for now. And I'm not sure which one we need for brick. And it looks like we have the big one. So let's see. We'll add these on until it goes to mediocre. There we go. That will be a capacity of 72. Nearly 5 million. I think we'll do that. Let's add that train onto the brick line. That will increase a lot, I think, once um, we get more and more trains having to bring brick in here. We'll probably have more than one train actually eventually. Right, so that's dial that up again. Already 62, 62 bricks coming in there. Let's see. So that's not going to be enough, actually, to fill the train up. Uh, let's go and pause again. Just for now, what I'm going to make this do is wait for a full um, load of bricks. So the line manager, this one called. We want a full. And we want it to wait 10 minutes. There we go. So it will be interesting to see how much this makes. It probably was a little bit of a waste to put the uh, electricity pile on things at the top. 
but that will be needed for later anyway when we get the faster electric trains. So how many? So it is going to collect. It is going to have a full um, train load of bricks. I think we'll just watch this um, and we'll see how much it makes on its first trip. I reckon probably around the three, two, three hundred thousand mark. You never know. Sometimes I get the estimates right, sometimes I'm completely wrong. But I'm going to go, I'll go in the middle, 250,000. The next stage of this will be to, uh, we'll just leave that for a minute, it's going to take, in fact, we'll bring, bring it up there so we can watch it as well. Um, the next stage of this line is going to be to go from here, possibly out of one of these, and then come all the way to this town here, Hatchway. It's only a small town. One thing we desperately need to do is increase the capacity on this main line. 228 people waiting there. But to replace the two trains on that line is going to cost probably around 14 million, I think. As you can see, we've got nowhere near that at the minute. Unless I take a loan out. I do. Okay. Let's watch this. Go along anyway. Really is an odd looking train, it is. With that kind of bit at the back there. I'm sure, someone in the comments below would like to tell me what that little bit is at the back. Seems to fill water. A bit of water, but oops, don't know. Number of times the game has been saving, and I've thought that the game is crashing. But it's just saving. So we're under the ground at the minute. Blowing down, are we? No. So this train isn't going to slow down for the that corner anyway. Bit of a deep part there, but it's managed to get up the hill. It's sl only slowed down by one mile an hour, two mile an hour. That's pretty good, and it's at the station anyway. And it's going to get us 634,000. Wow. That's like over twice as much as I expected. So that train's probably going to get make us quite a lot of money. I never heard there's two people driving this train. Interesting. Okay. So we'll leave that to do. Go backwards and forwards. Let's have a look then. How much it's going to cost us to replace these. So main line. Uh, vehicle manager. So we want to replace them with one of them. And we do seventy capacity. So we need twelve million. We've got nearly four. Let's borrow the rest. So I've actually got no loan at the minute. So 
I'm not actually sure how much I can borrow now. Let's have a quick look. Oh, so I think I got can borrow 20 million now. Not that I need to borrow that much. That's enough. That's increased our loan to 11 million, so we just borrowed 11 million. That's the train. Where's it gone? Uh, let's go back onto the line. Uh, manage line. Not what I need to do is manage vehicles. Let's come out of that. Manage vehicles. So, 12.3 million to replace them. Okay, let's do it. There we go. 12 million spent. I am excellent. So, we've got more new trucks. So, the 25 mile an hour ones. That is going to be a great help. Fortunately, we've just spent all our money on that stuff, so I'm going to repay that bit there. Let's now watch and see how much these trains make uh, when they're at full capacity. I think there should be 70 people here. train does make quite a bit of money, so around the one, one and a half million mark. So it's picked up, okay, 54. So on this trip it may not, to the next station it may not make that much money. But I'm hoping from, I think it's Persia, onto the next town, it should pick up 70 people I think. Only one person driving this one. Obviously used to drive. So I reckon six seven hundred thousand. No. Because it's not full. So five hundred thousand for this trip. Five hundred thousand. So at least it's reaching its top speed as well. Sixty two and sixty two. We get one more, yeah, there we go. Come on, auto save, there we go. And yeah, sixty two mile now. It's a bit awkward there, isn't it? Won't be the smoothest journey going across them. So what I may do at some point is like flat on this out. Quite good with that bit there, with the tunnel. So here we are coming to the station. It's going to be 327, so a bit less than I thought. Hopefully we'll pick 70 people up now. Yeah, there we go. I do need to change this up a bit, so I need to cover cover all this. So it's the same. Don't think I've got a walkway either that goes underneath. But do need to add that one. I think what we'll do, because it's not actually far up to uh, Hasselmere. So, let's see how much it makes coming from there. From here to there. Here's the other train coming in. So, look how many that's got on it. That's got 70 as well. Let's see how much that makes. Six hundred and thirty-seven thousand. That is actually raking the money in that. 
I assume this is probably going to make it around the same. Going the other way. Going for the front on lock. It is actually struggling a little bit to reach top speed, so it's not quite at 62 mile an hour yet. There we go. We're almost there, yep. Yeah. That. Yeah, they're like sitting out of the carriage. They're dangerous. So the reason it kind of goes up and down a bit is because when we very first put this line in, um, I was trying to save money. So when you do it in little sections, um, it isn't quite flat. So uh, we could have replaced that at some point. I don't think it makes any difference. So I reckon this is probably going to take about 600,000 again. 950,000. So I wonder why that's so different. So that made, almost made a million dollars. Excellent. Not that I'm complaining. Excellent. Right, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe. I now have a Facebook page, why not go over there and give us a like, uh, I also have a Twitter, why not head over there, and we will see you next time.